Happy Thanksgiving to the NMPreps.com family. We start out number 25 with a controversial call. Remember this one? Cleveland trying to upset Manzano late in the season. Going to get stripped right here. Manzano's going to fall in the football. But the referees have a debacle over who has the football right here. You're going to see Manzano has it. Look, Ocampo saying, we have the football right here. Look, look. We have the football on the other end. Referees trying to debate. Cole Gauchi still has the football. Who has it? You have it. We have it. Manzano's going to end up with the fumble recovery game is a final Monarchs win in thrilling fashion. Number 24, Axton Franzor of Mayfield. Doing it big for the Trojans. He's only a junior option keeper. Fakes to the fullback. Gets to the outside. Touchdown, Trojans. Knockoff Sandia earlier in the year. Franzo had a big game. Number 23, this is how you run the option, fellas. Ori Fear going to teach you right here. Fakes to the fullback. Look, we just saw that from Axton Franzo, except he's going to pitch it this time. Valencia. Touchdown, smashed Bloomfield. We only had to stay at halftime for that one. Valencia looking good early in the season. Number 22, big time Division I commit Matthew Haggerty of Notre Dame just shutting down his mere number 56 from Pedro Vista. Aztec won that one. We're up in Aztec. And then when you have the big lineman in front of you, this is what you can do. Mr. Football candidate Bryson King throwing it to one of the state's leading receivers, Tylen Hirsch. Touchdown. That game was all Aztec. Aztec had a huge second half, nearly scored 70 points. Number 20, Ronnie Daniels making it look easy. Mr. Football winner from 2009, a candidate in 2010. Can't even touch that kid. He's the all-time New Mexico High School rushing leader in pretty much everything. We go down to the El Dorado Eagles, and this is what they did all season long. Marcus Jaramillo just a little dump off pass to Mr. Football candidate Josh Day. Going to miss watching those El Dorado Eagles take the air in 2011. Number 18, Karan Wiggins. Look at this. Just gets outside of Michael Arosi and then once he gets to the races, he's a big boy that can fly. Touchdown. Clovis Wildcats nearly upset Cleveland. That was a fantastic game during midseason. Karan Wiggins, one of a, the very good running backs out of that Clovis backfield. We'll miss him from the class of 2010. Number 17, remember the Belen Valencia game. This one was huge. First drive, Valencia trying to score. Ori feared, lost one up. Dante Berry picks it. This was a huge play early in the game. Number 16, triumph with trickery. Fourth down for Artesia, trying to get on the board against Goddard. Hands off to Kobe Caton, the left-handed passer. Touchdown. That was an exciting play. That was an exciting game. All Goddard, those two teams meet here pretty soon this weekend in the semifinals. Number 15, talk about playoff composure. Mayfield knows how to get it done. Remember Axton Franza from a couple plays ago. Another play action. And this time he finds Avron Garcia. Touchdown. Mayfield knocked off Cleveland 21-13. Already on play number 14 of the countdown, we move into the quarterfinals where we saw the Carlsbad Caveman take on Manzano. And check this play out by junior running back Eric Galindo doing work. Makes a few Manzano Monarchs miss. And then behind a convoy of Caveman. Does the rest of the work. He's going to be very fun to watch during his senior season. Eric Galindo doing work. Same game. Play number 13 on the countdown. Talk about body control. Quarterback is Mr. Football candidate Ryan Trujillo. He's going to put that pass right on the money. And then receiver Kyle Lopez goes up body control style. Touchdown. Number 12, Cole Gauchi is gone for the big boy. 215 pounds once he gets moving. He is hard to catch. This was a fantastic game. Up the sideline, Cole Gauchi doing work. He had a fantastic junior season. He's going to be another player who's fun to watch in the 2011 season as we get going. Play number 11, Green is on the money. You have him as an athlete, but look, he looks like a quarterback right here. Spinning it to a Goddard receiver. Touchdown. Goddard faces Artesia next in the semifinals. Number 10, the elusive David Brown. Dylan Chavez hits Brown right on the money, and then look at that. One defender, two, three, four. Even Coach Roanhouse is fired up on the sideline. Can't believe it. David Brown, another junior in that very talented class of 2012 doing work. Number nine, same game. Jordan Hill's perfect pass. Check this one out. Pause it right here. Touchdown pass to Raymond Beecham. Clovis got going there at the end of the season. Knocked out by La Cueva last week, 21-14. Number eight. Isaac Leon's big night. Went to go check him out. 
as a linebacker actually this night and he rattled off five touchdowns as a fullback look at that you can't tackle him 215 pounds he's a next level player no doubt play number seven up next and you can't catch Manzano's Kevin Reeves hard to leave this guy off the Mr. Football list because he just did so much for Manzano check this out one two three four gets a block by Josh Bowen gets another block no he doesn't from Josh Lopez he just hits the break touchdown Kevin Reeves always a big time player was this the run of the year we checked out Cleveland and Valley early in the season and check out this run by Thomas Knox one two three four five six defenders and then look at this speaking of convoy of blockers Thomas Knox just getting up the field he could have hopped and skipped and rolled into the end zone that time Thomas Knox big senior season for the Cleveland Storm number five remember this the block that sprung Bowen Ryan Drew Hill we have a lot of Manzano highlights check this out Josh Bowen then right here BAM two defenders on their back even Josh Bowen gave a look I love that clip Josh Bowen doing work thousand yard receiver had a fantastic senior season they go up against Las Cruces this weekend and here we go again right back to Manzano but how can you leave these type of plays off check this out Kevin Reeves doing work big time players big time plays and big time games Kevin Reeves is legit number three this was Jeremiah Hickman's night this was his quarter actually Pedro Vista kicked it to him earlier in this game and he returned one to the house they did it again and look at that he's like Devon Hester of the high school football level doing it big Jeremiah Hickman one of the better special teams players in the state I love this clip big time player right there Jeremiah Hickman also a very good defensive back we're all in this grill right there Aztec Tigers face Belen this weekend number two Daniels does it again this is a great clip because it just highlights Ronnie Daniels right here look at that chick click cling you could do a picture of that play all day long Ronnie Daniels goes down as one of the all-time great running backs in New Mexico high school football history what could be number one? Here we go. Who wants it more? Crucis divided. This is a big play right here. Check this out. Late in the game, Xavier Hall trying to get a first down and look at that. Who wants it more? Who wants it? Come on. Get it. It was all Crucis right there. Huge play momentum wise. And on the next play, a bruised and battered Xavier Hall. He's going to get the pitch from Devin Perez, the backup quarterback. Just gets to the outside. Great hit by Brock Baca, but it's a touchdown. Crucis is fired up. They actually would win that game 14-9. And that's a wrap on the top 25 plays in the 2010 season.